I've noticed lately that most of the pellets I can find are hollow points. I've never checked this out, but I'm not sure if a pellet gun has enough energy to actually expand a hollow point and make it more lethal than a solid nose pellet. So I'm going to take a bucket full of water here. I'm going to shoot into it. Water is the best medium to show how a bullet, or in this case a pellet, can expand if it's a hollow point. If it doesn't expand in water, it's not going to expand in anything alive, trust me. So let's check that out. Okay, for this test, I'm going to be using my Crossman Backpacker. I've already got it pumped up to 10 pumps. And first of all, I'm going to try out, I'm going to test the Crossman Premier hollow point over the chronograph. And we have 410 feet per second. Very respectable for a 22. Okay, folks, now we're going to be sizing up the 22 hollow points. And here is the Crossman Premier 22 hollow point. Let me zoom in and show you they are all coming in a little bit undersized like the others were. And we're looking at 0.217 for the size there. And there you can see the hollow point end right there. Now let's see how they expand. Okay folks, like my 0.177 test, I have my bucket set up, my close-up camera, and you guys are in the distance here. All right, let's see how much water this displaces and how much it expands. Decent splash, wasn't that bad though. Hardly any expansion. Huh. Put it on a micrometer. Zero expansion. There it is. 0.217, just as before. So it did not have enough velocity to expand. If I had a higher, higher pressure, higher uh, velocity firearm to shoot this in, maybe so, but in what I've got, it just did not, did not fit the bill. Okay, well, just something dangerous started thinking. I got another 22 hollow point, it's exactly the same size. The point 217. I'm gonna put it in the rifle ring reverse, backwards. See if I can get some expansion then. And just as before, got a close up camera here. I am pumped up to 10 pumps, which is its maximum pressure. And I am putting the pellet in backwards. It doesn't want to go. There you go. I got it in. Okay. Now let's see what happens. About the same splash. Whoa, I did get some expansion though. It actually kind of came apart on here. Let's see what uh, see what expanded to. And it expanded to a uh, fairly impressive 0.23 and almost 5. Two, three, four, five, I guess. We get a close up there for you. And there we have the two 22 hollow points. Here's a fresh one. Let me get my 22 pointer out. There is a fresh one right there. And here is the expanded hollow point that was shot in reverse. The skirt of the pellet is what hit the water and was thin enough to expand at the 400 or so feet per second. And in case you were wondering what it looked like, in the bucket I've got some federal, just federal bulk 22 hollow point. This is 36 grain, uh, copper plated, leaving the muzzle at 1260 feet per second. And again, I have I got my ears on, by the way. These aren't the normal ears. I left them at home. And I've got the camera here. I expect a very large splash. Whoa. <laughs> Quite a big splash. Let's take a look at that bullet. Only put one round in the magazine, but I will guarantee it's clear. Now, where'd that bullet go? That actually went through the bucket. 
I have a hole in the bottom of my bucket now. And there's a <laughs> and there's a 22. Okay. Well, let me show you that one. Okay. First of all, let's go ahead and get a measurement of a bullet that I pulled out of a live case here. We got part that's not mangled. And we're looking at a shade over 0.22. Now, this 22 bullet is what I recovered underneath the bucket. I actually made it through the entire, well, about four gallons left in there. And had enough energy to get through the bottom of the bucket, just barely. And I found it in the dirt right underneath the bucket. And it measures now, it went from 0.224 2.30 looks like 8.5. That's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive indeed. And that is just standard bulk 22 from Federal out of a standard size Ruger 1022. So in conclusion, I learned today that 400 feet per second will not cause a 22 hollow point to expand. I have no doubt that it will expand under the right circumstances but you're gonna need a much faster, much more powerful rifle to do it. And 400 feet per second out of the Crossman Backpacker, it's just not gonna do it. I also tested the Benjamin, both Destroyer X style and the Hollow Point out of that, had the exact same result as the Crossman Premier, and I did not check the accuracy of sliding in a pellet backwards to actually get some expansion out of the pellet skirt but I'm going to assume that the accuracy would be abysmal. Of course, if you don't have access to a super high power 22 pellet gun, there's always 22 long rifle. Remember to like, favorite, subscribe if you enjoy this kind of stuff, and I hope you guys have a great day. See ya!